When it comes to lenses, for those of you who have been following me on this channel may already know I am a huge fan of prime lenses and that is why for today's review I'm going to be reviewing not just any prime. If there is one thing that gets me really excited are fast wide angle primes. So for today's review I will be reviewing one of Fuji's latest lineup of lenses which is the Fuji 23mm f1.4 weather resistant lens. Full disclaimer Fuji did loan me this lens for reviewing but I assure you that no money did change hands and Fuji has got no say in this video at all. Also like all my other reviews on the channel it is not going to be one of those in-depth scientific sort of reviews but it's just me sharing my personal experiences using the lens and what I thought about it. So if that does tickle your fancy then I guess this review is definitely for you. Okay so first let's talk about the build quality of this lens. This lens is constructed out of metal and the lens hood is made from plastic. Comes to the aperture ring I feel that the clicks were just clicky enough and when it comes to the focusing ring it does feel really well dampened. The only thing if I would point out is that I don't really like focus by wire lenses and how they feel in terms of focusing because there's that sense of it feeling not really connected to the lens. But I guess this is a modern standard these days. Most modern lenses will all be focused by wired. So yeah, it's something that we all have to get used to. But all in all, I'd say the build quality is really good and it's what I come to expect from Fuji. So no real complaints there. Good build quality. Okay, so now let's briefly talk about the specs of this lens. First, we will have a look at the optical design of the lens itself. This lens is constructed using 11 elements in 8 groups and it includes one spherical element. This lens also comes with 7 rounded aperture blades. Its aperture at its widest can be opened up all the way to f1.4 and it can be closed down to f16. Also, the aperture ring on this lens is clicked. This lens weighs 300 grams and it has a filter size of about 58 millimeters. So I would say it's not that light and at the same time, it's not super heavy so it's not bad. In terms of closest focusing distance it can be focused from a distance of 28 centimeters which allows you to get really close to your subject and try and compose really interesting things so I do like the closest focusing distance on this lens. Okay so now let's talk about the usability and my experience using this lens. In general I found using this lens was really nice as the focal length of this lens is an equivalent to a 35 millimeter focal length on a full frame sensor so it's pretty much the sweet spot of being wide wide and not too wide you know so it's a really nice medium-ish kind of wide angle lens. One thing I really did enjoy about this lens is the fact that you can get really good background separation especially if you get really close to your subject and it really does help in isolating the subject in the shot. For me where I found where I did get frustrated about this lens was at times when I had a bigger or taller architectural subject in the background that I wanted to include in the shot to make for a more compelling story in the shot. I found this lens just a little bit not wide enough. So for me for such instances I do love the focal length of the Fuji XF 18mm f1.4 for those sort of shots I guess. If you do want to watch that review, I did make a review on that lens. You can click on the right hand side to watch it. But that being said, the limitations of this lens did make me work harder to compose such shots. And I suppose that can be a good thing. Because to me, any lens that makes you work harder to try and find a better angle will teach you more on how to compose better shots with whatever you have. In terms of video autofocus, I find it to be really good and quite silent. And it is the kind of autofocus that I've come to expect from the newer range of lenses lenses that come out from Fuji lately so yeah it's really good for video too. As for chromatic aberration and lens flaring I found these newer Fuji lenses are also very well controlled too so there's nothing that I would say that is alarming nothing really that I am surprised about so yeah everything is pretty much well controlled. Anyway here are more sample shots I took around the city and I did some street shoots with this lens so I hope you guys don't mind me indulging. This bit of the video is going to be a little bit of a POV style shoot and I hope you guys enjoy Enjoy this part.
And here are some of the shots I didn't manage to record on the POV camera, but I thought of putting them in here too. Okay, so what's my conclusion after using this lens for a few weeks now? Who do I think should really get this lens? Well, for me, I find this lens is such a well-rounded lens to have, in my opinion. If you wanted just one lens to shoot practically anything and you didn't want to spend more on buying lenses, this would probably be it, I guess. Because in my opinion, this lens used well, you can easily shoot portraits, landscapes, and even architectural stuff. Being a 35 millimeter equivalent focal length, the distortion on this lens too is not too extreme. However, for me, I have to admit, there were times when I did get really close to my subject I wanted more of the background to be included and I found that this lens was just a smidgen too tight for me at times but it wasn't that bad but yeah I still do prefer a little bit wider than 35 especially if I'm getting really close to my subjects but like I said earlier I guess this lens does push you to try and find better angles to try and improve your composition so I don't really find that to be something that would be a deal breaker if you really are looking for such a lens all in all I would say that this this lens is a great lens but the only thing I would complain about is the fact that this lens is a little bit pricey for what it is. I still find Fuji lenses to be a little bit too pricey for what it is considering there are so many third-party lenses like Viltrox who are making great lenses they are pretty much on par with the optical quality of the Fuji lenses for a fraction of the price of a Fuji lens so yeah I do find that if you really do want to save some money then you are better off looking out for some Viltrox lenses in my opinion. Right so that's it then if you did find this review helpful please don't forget to leave me a comment like share subscribe do all those wonderful things to help me out with the algorithms of this channel also i did leave links to all the gears that i use to make these videos down in the description below so do check them out and also if you would like to help support this channel by giving me a small contribution i did leave a link to buy me a coffee down in the description below and yeah i guess that's it then thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace